Welcome to Backwards News. Rants you can trust. Warning, this is a rant channel. All persons in this video are real and the events are factual. Satirical speech may be used to comment and criticize on subjects. Oh, all right, all right. It's Al's Backwards News. Like it, love it, notify me. The story here is going to be backwards. That's how we do it. And we are going to have some fun. I can't, I can't help it. I love it. Okay, let's read it together. Read it together. Detroit reaches $7.5 million deal in wrongful conviction lawsuit. Wrongful conviction lawsuit. <laughs> hey, Al, 7.5 million. You mean he won Powerball? No, he did not win Powerball. The lawsuit is in. The lawsuit has been won. His ass did eight years in jail over nothing. That's how we do it in Detroit. <laughs> Detroit police and the prosecutor, Kim Worthy, cannot solve one damn crime. So they just put anybody in jail. And this, this is the new normal. This is the new normal. Every year, somebody gets out of jail that was wrongfully convicted. And they have to give them some money. They get more, the more you lied in court, the more money they get. He getting 7.5 million. Because they lied all day long when he was in court. Mr. Sanford got his payday the hard way. But like I said, this is the new normal. So we, so Detroit, Detroit is making millionaires. <laughs> Detroit is making millionaires. If you can't, if you can't find a job and get your millions, you can't hit Powerball. Just come to Detroit, walk down the street. They're going to do stop and frisk and arrest you. And then later you can get out of jail and try to get a million dollars. That's how we do it. Detroit is making people millionaires. This is the Millionaire's Club. Join the Millionaire's Club. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, Detroit police. Mr. Sanford was arrested when he was 14 years old. They say he went into an alleged dope house like he was the Mandalorian and shot four people several times to all of them was dead. And, <laughs> and they caught him because <laughs> they say he had four drops of blood on his shoes. <laughs> and he was in court talking about, I wasn't even wearing my shoes that night. I was wearing another pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's backwards. Backwards news. They say it's blood on your gym shoes. He said, I wasn't wearing them shoes that night. Y'all, and they did a blood test. They had three or four blood tests. They all kind of inconclusive everything. It, it was so much a mess went wrong. And it's just backwards. The article says a Lieutenant Michael Russell and a former police commander, James Tolbert, kept telling his ass, tell me what happened. They put him in that room, tell me what happened. And they got, they drew a map, and then they, and then they went to court and said he drew a map and showed them where he killed everybody. 
And his lawyer, a uh, uh, Robert, Mr. Sanford's attorney, a uh, Robert um, Slamka, uh, told him, "Oh man, the best thing for you to do is just just give it up." He said, "Okay, I I plead guilty. I give it up. I give it up." And they gave him thirty seven to ninety years for killing three people. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. He got some of them damn uh, hot shot student attorneys <laughs> to read his case <laughs> and, get, and get him out of jail and put a lawsuit in for him. So it's 7.5 million. Man, let me come cut your grass. I got to come cut your grass. And I want to cut your grass at your mansion. <laughs> I need a couple of dollars. And, and I don't want to be late to work. You know, you should like loan me a hundred thousand so I can get that me a Uber. You know, I just just a hundred thousand. So that's that's it. Detroit is making millionaires. The million, <laughs> Mr. Sanford has joined the Millionaires Club. This is the new normal every year. Kim Worthy and Detroit police have, have to drop charges and let people out of jail. It's a damn shame. Damn shame. I'll see you on the next edition of the Backwards News.